This week on Maker Update, perfectly splitting cookies with science, a realistic miniature brick wall, an epic three-part table, drip oilers for a steam engine, hypnotic wood spheres, a hat that washes your hair, and designing better custom furniture. Hi, welcome to Maker Update. I'm Becky, back again to guest host. Let's start off with the project of the week. Ian Sharness created a device to help split Oreo cookies perfectly in half and explains the science along the way. He's got all the 3D printing files available in the Instructable for his project, which was inspired by an MIT research paper. The device holds the cookie with a chuck held tight with a rubber band and also holds a scalpel blade at the center line so that when the cookie rotates, the blade scores partway through the cookie cream. After freezing, the cream becomes more brittle and is subject to the crack propagation necessary to shear apart the two halves. Ian also shows a bunch of ways he tried splitting the cookies that didn't work out, but are interesting nevertheless, including a vacuum chamber and homemade water jet cutter. More projects. Emily the Engineer has a new video on her YouTube channel about 3D printing a pair of Heelys wheeled sneakers. The video follows her design process to 3D print an entire shoe with a captive wheel in the heel. And while the result looks less comfortable and less safe than a pair of standard roller skates, it's super fun to come along on Emily's journey. Also on YouTube, Handy Bear shows us how to create a totally convincing, realistic brick wall miniature from a simple piece of foam. We see the brick pattern itself come to life, as well as the requisite distressing textures and final paint job that make it look super real. Check it out. This week, it was hard to miss the epic table collab eight years in the making by Bob Claggett, David Picciuto, and Jimmy DiResta. It's a three-piece table where each of them made one segment. Bob made a Plinko-style game out of his third, David did some gorgeous walnut inlay, and Jimmy cast resin with a repurposed wrench for a leg. On her channel, Blondie Hacks, Quinn made a set of glass drip oilers for her steam engine. She starts out by cutting some glass test tubes, then machines the brass caps and other parts that make up the gravity-fed oilers. Not only are Quinn's videos full of hypnotic machining close-ups, but she explains her process so thoroughly along the way. Nick Poole does a deep dive on high vacuum technology and shares his progress experimenting with making his own electron tubes. He's hoping to bring one of his vacuum creations to Hackaday Supercon in November. Frank Howarth made some turned wood segmented spheres and created a very detailed video about the process in his signature multi-self style. I really like how these turned out and found the details of putting it together fascinating. On Hackaday, I spotted Garrett Morrison's click wheel organ, a musical instrument that works on the same principle as a card in your bike's books. The number of teeth on the wheels determine the pitch of the audio and Garrett did a bit of computing to determine a starting count that would also support the other notes needed to fill out the octave. JBV Creative has a new kinetic sculpture called Love at First Swipe, where the two halves of a heart join together when the operator swipes a finger across the base. He goes into detail about the design and prototyping process in a new video on his YouTube channel. On the Kids Invent Stuff channel, Ruth and Sean build 10-year-old Noah's hair washing hat, including inlets for water, shampoo, spinning brushes, and hot air for drying. As usual, hilarity ensues as the duo attempts to bring to life a child's invention sketch. And now for some tools and tips. The Simple Electronics channel has an excellent guide to WLED, a swell bit of software for controlling addressable LED strip wirelessly with an ESP32 or ESP8266. Christiana, on her channel Get Hands Dirty, shares her design process for creating a custom media console. She goes over the factors that inform the design, then all the steps in between the vague project idea and the complete 3D model and materials list. This is a super helpful video for anyone who wants to level up their custom builds. And if you've ever wanted to make custom closet built-ins but weren't sure where to start, Annika's DIY Life has a video that will give you confidence to try it out. She uses plywood to build custom shelves and drawers suited to her kids' closet's needs. Seems like you could apply the same technique to build workshop storage, too. Speaking of workshops, seems like everybody who's anybody has a workshop video or series out lately. 
Check out Paul Jackman's barn workshop build out taking place over the course of two years and Johnny Brooks workshop renovation series currently on episode nine. This week's DigiKey Spotlight is my new beginner electronic series. The first episode is all about LEDs, what the different kinds look like, how they work, and the info you need to get started making your own LED circuits. Give it a watch and let me know what you think. And that's it for this week's show. Be sure to like and subscribe, and please consider sharing this video with a friend. Sign up for the weekly Maker Update newsletter so you never miss a thing, and thanks for watching.